The clash between peaceful protest and violent resistance would produce images that caused the country to sit up and take notice. In New Orleans, on the morning of November 14, 1960, federal marshals escorted a six-year-old girl named Ruby Bridges to the local all-white elementary school. I remember turning onto the street. I saw barricades and police officers and just people everywhere. When I saw all of that, I immediately thought that it was Mardi Gras. <laughs> I had no idea that they were here to keep me out of the school. Ruby, were you scared? I would have been terrified. I wasn't, actually, because, you know, it's very hard for parents, I think, to explain to a six-year-old what was actually happening. They didn't say, it's a white school, you're making history. I remember them saying, Ruby, you're going to go to a new school today, and you better behave. But Ruby was making history. Six years earlier, after decades of struggle, the NAACP had won a major legal victory, Brown versus Board of Education, in which the Supreme Court declared that the doctrine of separate but equal schools was unconstitutional. But in many places, that triumph did not translate into change. For years after Brown, much of the South simply refused to integrate. Now, Ruby would be one of six New Orleans children chosen to desegregate several all-white elementary schools. They were screaming and shouting and chanting, two, four, six, eight, we don't want to integrate. The mothers of downtown New Orleans screaming as she entered the William Franz Elementary School, first in the city to be integrated. Once I got into the school, all of these people here rushed inside of the building. They were taking out their children. Over 500 kids walked out of school that day. What is your reaction to the court's decision continuing integration? Well, you don't want the niggas going in this school. Well, this the... It's a white school. They didn't see a child. They saw change in what they thought was being taken from them. They never saw a child. 